back. So today is February 11th, and I'm over here fire. And um, basically, I am just going to do a seed starting video um, because it's that time. We are six to eight weeks out from our last frost. Um, and for you to check that for your own area, you can just go to Google, put um, last frost for your zip code, and you just put your zip code in. Um, so what are you guys planting for your spring garden and summer garden? Um, and what do you wish you could? And what, you know, when are you starting? I'm, I'm a little bit late. I normally start in February. But I'm not, we're mid-February, so I'm not too bad off. Um, and usually our last frost is in April, so um, we are doing just fine. So basically, I got these little seed starter cups from um, Dollar Tree, and they were a dollar for, I think it's 12 of them. I'm putting them out now, so I can count them for you. Yes, there's 12, so you get 12 of these for $1, and then um, I'm going to start fill it up with some soil and drop two to three seeds in each one, depending on what I'm going to put in there, and then I bought these labels for a dollar from Dollar Tree, and you get 10 of them as well. So... I have, remember we did our shopping with, um, what's it called, Baker Street Seeds, so we know for sure I will be planting these this year, my loofah, <coughs> for sure those. In that um, so usually whenever you get ready to do your seeds you want to read the back of your packet to know when is the best time to plant them um, so the planting instructions for this is direct sow into the richest soil available one to two weeks before the last spring frost so for the corn it says for best we should direct so so we'll wait and put these directly where we want to grow those for the cucumbers needs abundant soil moisture and rich soil some afternoon shade and beneficial in hottest summer weather trellis growing safe space harvest frequently to main production to maintain production so it doesn't really tell you when to um put it out like what month is best for it on this seed packet i'll show you guys what i mean so like i have these seeds here that i got from dollar tree and you see the map at the bottom um so it goes up to zone four for these peppers but so according to this, I'm in Oklahoma, so it says I am in zone two, and which would be March through June to plant um, these peppers. So um, these will be something you would sow your seeds indoor in a very warm location, eight to twelve weeks before putting them outdoors. So that's what this. Uh, seed packet looks like on the back and it gives you more instructions versus this one and I just recommend basically following the back of your pack of seeds so that way you know exactly what to do but these are cucumbers so they are um, a warm they like to be within 70 to 90 degrees so I can plant them in the spring here and then keep them going into the mm, mid summer early summer depends but so we'll start these and these okay put those back we will be for sure growing these and most people say to direct sow 
which this back of the packet does say direct sow in spring or start indoors two to three weeks before the last frost. So we can wait on these because they don't need as long in these pots because they say that um, <coughs> whenever you transplant your sunflowers from a pot to the ground like they stunt out which I've had um, issues with my sunflowers stunting out in just the pot that they're going to grow in but I am going to grow and start my sunflowers um, this size grow back this year when I did that previously they uh, grew like almost as tall as my house so I was excited about that. We have the white, the silver, Yamato watermelon. Um, they like it hot, but I will um, probably not start those in the things because whenever you move for sure on watermelon, they don't like their uh, roots messed with, so I for sure won't be doing that. <clears throat> so, as far as the loofahs, this will be my first year growing these, and there's really not good planting instructions. They just tell you how to grow them They're on a trailer and provide you space, and that they like lots of heat. So these will be something that I will uh, wait to start to grow as well. Um, my watermelons, I'm going to wait. And I'm not growing those this year. So uh, some of the seeds, so I'm going to get started right now with the cucumbers. And basically, um, you just open your pack. Put some in your hand. <coughs> I was trying to fill this uh, oil cup up some more, but every time I pull it out, it's like I kind of pack it in so that's how it's looking. And then you want to put like a little hole, a few of them in there. Let me get some water. My boy, a little rock out here. We've been having some nice days. It's been at least 65 to 70 here, which is nice. It's pretty warm in the greenhouse today, so I figured I'd get out here and get some stuff started. And I've had a break. I'm taking a little time from school. I've had started nursing school and kicking my butt like my brain hurts. I've already had two exams. Um, I've got another one coming within a week and a half. So, yeah. This is my place where I can go and just relax and take my mind off of things. Okay, so the water has settled in. I'm not going to just get it too wet. I was just trying to get it to where I can moisten it, but it get some holes that will stay. Anyway, I'm going to put two seeds each in a pot. And you want to put it as deep as it says. So it says to grow these a half an inch in. So not much. So put your seed in there. And cover it back up and I'll do that for I'll do four of these each for the cucumbers and then just water them in of course you always water and water and water in. okay so I'll be back when I'm back all right we got all the seeds in now I'm just going to get my soil wet and get them moved in, get them soaked in there, 
and then you label. Now I don't label each one. I'm just because these are all going to end up in a tray that they'll sit on. So what's in that roll is typically the same thing. Okay. And so an I was going to show you what else I'm going to start these on. It's peppers. Which those are um, California Wonders, habanero peppers, and serrano chili peppers, Roma tomatoes, um, pickling cucumbers, and I have mustard greens that I'm going to do as well. So, move! Once I get those finished, We'll get back to it. So we have, let's make sure we got enough. We can do that. <laughs> Tomatoes, peppers, that. And then we'll have three more rows. We have just enough. So, all right, guys. Okay, what I'm done. So I don't have the seeds in yet, but I just wanted to show you how I stay organized. So I go through, I lay my seed packets on top of the row that it's going to be in, and then I put my tags on in the days that I the date that I started the seeds and then for best measures I I don't know if you can see it there we go right on the um, pot if I can because sometimes I use the uh, ones that come in the like burpee cloth stuff um, seed stuff and I don't do it this way but um, if I Start it that way. In these pots, you're able to write on each one what they are. So I just want to show you that. So now I am continuing dropping my seeds in. Like I said, I'll do two each. And all I do is take it, because these are just a half an inch in, put it in. Push it in just a little bit, cover it up. And then I water. Same thing all the way through. Boop. And that's all. You guys. <sighs> here you go. Alright, so here we go with all the seeds in. So for we'll just keep them wet until we start seeing um them germinate. Once they germinate, then we'll just keep the soil moist. And then once they once they receive their true leaves, I'll start um watering them with aloe water. Uh, I've noticed that when I do my germinations and I water them with um, aloe water, they produce well. Sire! They produce well once they get into the. So I have this indoor um, greenhouse type tent thing that I have grow lights in and I have the rapid LED system. Um, you can kind of see it and it's really good it's it's nice and warm in here and pretty much I am going to oh and I also have these that I got from Amazon before I got this good baby but I'm going to put those in a tray and bring them inside and let them germinate in here on this rack okay so here they are inside the tent and they'll just be here until they germinate. Once they germinate, we'll keep them in. And then we'll start hardening them off outside. And then once the frost is gone for two weeks after that, then we'll put them outside. See you back in the greenhouse. All right, so we got that all done and put up. And um, in the midst of that, my son knocked over one of the pickling cucumbers. So instead of four, we'll have three um, of the transplanting deal so while you're waiting for your stuff to germinate and get ready you can start working in your flower beds pulling out weeds uh, adding your compost uh, refilling soil topping them off um, and if you're just starting you can go ahead and just start like if you're going to do in ground digging your dirt up loosen it up um, cleaning it up, getting it all ready for your plant's new homes. And um, just remember if you plant it um, like watermelon in one area, move to a different area because they don't do well in um, back growing in the same area. 
um, as they did before due to like cucumber beetles are in the soil. Uh, it causes to be more prone to that. Um, I think that's all I have for you guys. I just wanted to show you and let you know to go ahead and get start getting your seeds down and getting ready for the spring and then we'll do a summer video where I'll go ahead and start uh, germinating like my watermelon, my squash and stuff like that because they like it a little bit more warmer but we'll start those then um, in my sunflowers so right now we got like stuff that likes cool weather so and um, things that can go from spring to summer so like your greens, your lettuces, um, tomatoes, peppers, all of that type of stuff so thanks for watching don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe thank you